But what were some of those elements? Again, so as we think about having this kind of a strong relationship, having that at, the, at this crux, or this uh, point of intersection in our organization between the chief executive and the uh, head of the board, or the leader of the board, um, what were some of the things that were coming out for you? What does having that, that relationship make possible, and for whom and what? <coughs> Accelerated impact of, of tell, tell me more about what that means and what's what's accelerated. There's a trust level, so you, the give and take increases and the ability to move forward without you know, stymied in your decisions and stagnated in your decisions. Okay. So the ability of whom to move forward. <coughs> So this is, I'm going to push you because this is the, you know, impact is a big thing. <coughs> and this is relationship. So I heard the, the, the ability to move forward. I heard uh, the ability to make decisions. And we can talk about whom is supposed to be making decisions. Um, okay. um, what else? What else is happening? What's the benefit? It's a little long-winded, but when the top management official and the top board official are on the same page, you can get board engagement and staff engagement because the message is consistent and you're on the same page. And that, you know, I know this is going for, uh, <coughs> uh, but then that also filters down to the community impact and whatever population you're serving. Mm -hmm. Um, great. So I think I tried to truncate it, uh, <laughs> but there is something of this. When that relationship is there, we're getting a consistent message coming from that. It's a consistent message that's going to the board. It's a consistent same message is going to the staff. And I love how you take if the board and the staff are getting the same message, likely that that same message is going to go out to the community, which probably goes to Paul, what you were talking about, which is that accelerating impact. Suddenly, all that stuff that we talk about and think about, it, it flows outwards. It, it ripples out. The ideas ripple out that are there. So, did that capture? Okay. Well, right. you said one key word, though, that I think should get and that's the engagement, because it's not just hearing it, it's doing something with it and, and being involved in whatever's being asked of the organization and the board and whatever. Okay, so it engages board and, and, exactly. and staff right. since that came up. That goes okay. for nonprofit business, double money, and whatever it is, it's generally on the ground. Uh huh. Uh, so, and, when, when, and, and you were saying really what that engagement is is that we actually have people taking action. So we have others, not just the board chair and the CEO, but we have others that are engaged in taking action that's sort of rolling out from that relationship. So we talked about, just uh, for a little bit about, you know, the trickle down effect. If all this is happening at the top, obviously it goes all the way down and out, hopefully. But as, you know, one of the old management things, I guess, is it's about getting commitment versus compliance. And if people are, are committed because they share the vision and they're excited and they're engaged and they have the message and everything else up there, then they're going to come in excited and wanting to do their best versus showing up and punching in. I don't care what level you are. Great. Um, so what we potentially are seeing, when this happens, we're seeing more excitement, we're seeing more inspiration. Uh, again, um, of what we're talking the board, we're talking the staff, and I don't want to underestimate the team. A good relationship makes, I mean, what does it do for the people in the relationship? When you have this, what does it make possible for you? And oh. we can be a little more specific. Well, what are some of the things? <laughs> some of the things that fall on that list of anything. This is creativity. Wow. Creativity. Change. We get creativity. Success. Growth. We get change. 
We talked about taking risks here, more more able to take risks because you're aligned. <coughs> feel like even if you're not successful with the risk, um, you're able to explain it because you have sort of that um, united front of what it is you're trying to accomplish. 